S.T. Petersburg is classic Florida. It provides travelers with endless sunshine, miles of golden sand beach, and the picturesque waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Sure, swimming and relaxing may be at the top of your list of things to do in St. Petersburg. The city is crammed between the Gulf and Tampa Bay. Its relatively small size makes it easy to get from A to B, with many of the downtown attractions within walking distance of each other. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in St. Petersburg so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, ST, Pete Beach. For those traveling from afar, the main reason to come to this part of Florida is for the sun, sand, and sea. It's tough competition for the title of the best beach, but it's hard to go past ST, Pete Beach. This deep stretch of soft white sand is 20 minutes from downtown. It offers beachgoers all the amenities you need for a fun day on the sand, with plenty of room to move about. At number 9 is the Fort De Soto Park. The immense Fort De Soto Park isn't just a place to enjoy ST, Petersburg's perfect weather and glorious nature. As the name suggests, the park harbors some fascinating history that paints the picture of the town's early years. Still, the golden sand beaches and turquoise waters of the Gulf of Mexico bring travelers and locals here in great numbers. You can enjoy the calm waters that are great for families, plus the two piers that offer great fishing and even better views. You'll find several nature trails from the beach that guide you throughout the park. At number 8, Dolly Museum. The impressive building that houses the Dolly Museum was designed in honor of the famous artist. The structure celebrates Dolly's most distinctive traits, including a combination of fantasy and realism. You could spend a while taking in the beguiling facade and glass dome. But within, there are over 2,000 works and the largest Dolly collection in the United States. The repository began as a private collection before being donated to the public in the 1980s. Among the many works almost 100 oil paintings, originals, eye-catching sculptures, photos, and manuscripts. At number 7, Sunken Gardens. A living museum in the heart of St. Petersburg, the Sunken Gardens are a sight to behold. The glorious beauty draws you in from the get-go. It's home to over 50,000 plant species, some of which are over 100 years old. The evolution of the gardens helps to show how alive it is. Throughout the year, flowers blossom and fall like the sun. Some peter out, and new additions are made, while others continue to stand the test of time. At number 6 in our list, Sawgrass Lake Park. If you want to get to know more about the natural ecosystems around ST. Petersburg, then don't pass up a visit to Sawgrass Lake Park. This underrated preserve grants the opportunity to explore one of the biggest maple swamps in Florida. The park stretches in all directions, but the main focus will be the elevated boardwalk and hiking trail. The boardwalk takes you above and through the swamp, showcasing the beguiling habitat where alligators loom beneath the surface. 
At number 5, Vinoy Park. Vinoy Park is an excellent place to hang with friends and family, with beautiful views of Tampa Bay. The lush, scenic park has several paved walking trails to explore. These will bring you past picnic areas, playgrounds for the kids, and the Gazella Copsic Palm Arboretum. Head in the other direction to discover the Vinoy Marina and the iconic Vinoy Park Hotel. This is the place to go whenever you want to switch off or break out some treats and enjoy a sunset. At number 4, St. Pete Pier. Piers have dotted the St. Pete waterfront since the 19th century sometimes more than one at a time. The latest pier opened in 2020 on the site previously occupied by a distinctive inverted pyramid design. The new pier is expansive. Its 26 acres include a park-like setting, restaurants, shopping, a splash pad, the beach, and public art. Recent visitors enjoyed the variety of entertainment options on the pier. Many noted that it felt like a truly public space, despite the significant amount of restaurants and shopping opportunities on site. At number 3 in our list, Whedon Island Preserve. The Whedon Island Preserve spans 3,190 acres and comprises aquatic and upland ecosystems. Visitors can take a variety of guided hikes, walk the boardwalks through tidal flats and mangrove forests, and fish on the pier. Located deep within the preserve, the Cultural and Natural History Center features an exhibit gallery called Connecting People and Place that encourages modern visitors to reconnect with the environment and learn about the area's earliest Native Americans, whose descendants collaborated on the design of the center through 6,000 square feet of interactive exhibits. At number 2, Sand Key Park. Situated on Sand Key, this is a 95-acre beach park perfect for recreation. A playground lets kids enjoy themselves, while a dog park allows furry friends to participate in the excursion. Sand Key Park also has a salt marsh that has become popular with birders. While here, you can watch for great horned owls, herons, roseate spoonbills, and more. Check out the number one places in our list, Clearwater Beach. One of Florida's most popular beaches is just a short drive north along the Gulf of Mexico. This is, of course, Clearwater Beach, which is well worth the 40-minute drive. After putting the car in park, you'll find yourself on the precipice of miles upon miles of golden sand, interrupted only by historic piers. Along the sand, you'll have access to all the necessary amenities, from picnic areas to bathrooms and playgrounds, while lifeguards are on the lookout year-round. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in St. Petersburg. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.